Paris? He is my father. I could see where she inherited her temperament. Your father? Why, well, he's our friend. Why should I believe you? Show me proof. Uh, which, which, this one. Look at this photo. It's old. Do I care? Yeah, but you're in it. She's kept it. We tracked down his painting. La Maledictio. Look. Where did you get this? It was a nice little bit of animation there, wasn't it? In London. Hmm. All right. You better come with me, but no funny business, okay? You know, you sound just like my friend Nico. Nico! This adds that extra, doesn't it? They need to straighten their shields What's up. What's going on, Ramon? Who's out there? Some crazy American. Don't worry. Eva will deal with him. Papa. These people want to talk to you. Eva, I thought we agreed to shoot intruders <laughs> on sight. <laughs> you, how did you find me? It wasn't easy, senor. We thought you were dead. You were wrong. They've brought you something, Papa. Can it be? At last, la malediction. Well, Senor Marquez, looks like La Maledixio hangs in its right place again. Indeed. I have waited all my life for this. But something interesting? The painting. Yeah, the tree is gone. The face in the middle. The one with the symbol of the tabula veritatis on it? How do you know about the tabula? A priest told me. Said it was the devil's work. Pa! Priests. Full of lies, every one of them. Oh, really? Well, this priest said that the tab exactly the they're not sorry fool who would want to raise the devil but you do want to find the tabula yes because it is a gnostic treasure it is special and my duty is to keep it safe i was sure that marquez still wasn't telling me the whole truth and now i shall decipher the painting and find the tabula. Before she died, my mother said that once the painting hung here again, its meaning would become clear, and the route to the tabula would be revealed. So, what's the answer? Where it's when the, the sun tabula? shines in through the window. Know. The room has the round changed. window. Was there something different about the room back then? No. Yes. I don't know. You must help me. Well, how? I, I'm not a Gnostic. Senor, you must, because soon the Russian will be here. He knows about Castel del Sant? I regret, Senor, that in Paris I told his sidekick a little too much. Ah, well, I guess we'd better figure this out. And fast. I'll go and keep watch. Shoot on sight, remember. Well, Nico, what now? You try and work out just why the painting has to be in this room. I'll go and see if Eva knows anything. Whether he knew it or not, I was sure Marquez had the answers. Okay. <clears throat> I reckon this window's got something to do with it. There's shields everywhere. Bookcase, crate. We've got Ramon. We've got the card figures holding apples up. Let's talk to the Marquis first. Senor Marquez. Mr. Stobart. If we're going to find the tabula. Yes. Then you will have to help. Of course. I mean, by being totally honest with us. <laughs> when have I not been honest? You need a break already. 
closer you're getting to the end of the year, the harder it is to focus on physics. Yeah, blow the stone. I think it, it does feel that way. The more you get, the quicker it goes up. It is like an exponential. It's, it's been going up very quick. I've had almost 70 the last month. Hopefully it keeps going that way. I'm going to, when we hit the 500, I'm going to spend a morning playing um, Hollow Knight. I've promised Kaiser that will be my punishment for reaching 500 followers. Because we all know how good I am at the platformy Souls-like games. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, was, I've, I've even got my Hollow Knight t-shirt, so I will wear that on the day as well. But yeah, I'm not very good at those games, so it's going to be a laugh playing that. Yeah, it's it's been nice with it, having so many viewers each stream. It makes a big difference. Ninja Gaiden, so we can see true suffering. Well, I can put that down on the wish list. <laughs> Ninja Gaiden. I'll keep a note of that there. Uh, there. One day, maybe. One day. Ninja Gaiden. I have heard of it, but I can't remember what sort of game it is. Is it one of the hardest games ever? Well, we can we can have a laugh, can't we? It's uh, I'm so bad at some of these games, and I just have to laugh at myself. Tell me about the painting. When I was a child, I would stand here for hours just staring at it. Who was the mysterious painter, El Serp? The serpent. And what did it mean, la malediction, the curse? I asked my father, but he just told me to be patient. He said that one day I would know everything. I have to give a big shout out to other streamers though in the community because I think uh, a lot of them are they're, they're very good to each other. Um, doing all the shout outs and everything and um all the kind words that a lot of streamers say about other streamers so um, <clears throat> i mean i i have gained a lot of followers from watching other good streamers so um, it all helps senor can you decipher any of the painting the tower of saints of course i knew it was a castell the saints themselves are Gnostic. You see the woman in red? The one you marked in the photo? She is Mary Magdalene. We revere her as Christ's greatest disciple. The rest, I don't know. The it does. Face, yep. It is obviously the tabula. But the elements around it, I don't know. If I could do this full time, it would be great. <laughs> um, I don't like my full time job, so. But this I do enjoy. When were you last here, Senor? Not since that day when my father was killed. So, why did the painting bring us here? As I said, because only here in this room. Will its clues become clear? Yeah, so we need to find more clues Why in this room. Is the tabula veritatis so important to the Gnostics? It is an object of immense power. My ancestors kept it safe for hundreds of years. They brought it to Catalonia as exiles long ago. In any generation, only one Gnostic knows its exact location. My father, Xavier, was the last of these. He knew dark forces were gathering, but 
I was too young to learn the secret. So he commissioned La Maledicción, embedding clues to the location of the tabula within the painting. Which we now have to decode. But what is the tabula? What does it do? I do not know. I know only that in the wrong hands it would be catastrophic for mankind. What happened back in Paris? We thought you were dead. A man came to the apartment <gasps> for Miss Come Farrar. on. He mentioned a stolen painting owned by a Russian. Obviously, I informed him that I was the true owner. Obviously. Next thing I knew, this thug had me pinned to a chair and was threatening to shoot me. So I told him of the castell. And while he telephoned his boss, I hit him with a little china dog. Guess he didn't know you were the pugnacious type. Pugnacious type. <laughs> another, another little little joke there embedded in the in the conversation. So Eva is your daughter. She was a gift from God late in my life. One day she will find room for Gnosticism in her heart. I am sure of it. So, you're the good guys? Good and evil are meaningless terms. We strive simply to maintain balance and keep the tabula from those who seek to exploit it for their own ends. I reckon we hold the medallion up to the middle of the painting and the light shines in. From the round window. I think this is yours. No, don't give him it, George. We need it. My medallion? <clears throat> Where did you find it? It was left in Nico's neighbor's apartment. Do you want it back? No. You oh. will keep it. We're safe. Not. It has a meaning <clears throat> purpose. Perhaps you can find out what. Sure. Just let me know if you ever want it back. Right, we should probably show him this. Father Simeon, the Dominican priest, was carrying these papers when he was killed. So? So? <laughs> You're not interested in them? I have no interest in priests or their papers, senor. Um. <clears throat> Take a look at this sketch. It is the face in La Maledicción. It was drawn by the man who restored the painting. Then he knew of the Tabula Veritatis. What other secrets did he uncover? I don't know, but he's dead now. Just as well. The fewer that know the secret of La Maledicción, the better. Show me. So this is you, your mother and father? Indeed, taken in this very building many years ago. Okay, we could show him Trevor. Did I ever mention Trevor? The old cockroach in a matchbox trick, eh? Oh, you know it. It's nearly as old as ferret in the pants. Hmm, I'm getting out of touch. Okay, that's everything, really. You should get back to it. Well, you could help. Stop being so lazy. Carved into the fireplace was a young man holding an orb. It's an apple. The halo reminded me of the figure in the clouds in La Maledicción. The stone fireplace was old and dusty. It looked like it had lain undisturbed for decades. There's no puzzle up and inside it like in mist. An old man with a beard was carved into the front of the fireplace. It was very like one of the figures in La Maledicción. Marquez said that the painting contained clues only a Gnostic could solve. But when it was back in this room, all would become clear. The plinths looked like they could be rotated.
So this is the guy that's up there, and this is the guy that's up there. But we, so we can rotate these. Look like they could be rotated. Well, why can't? Why won't you rotate them? Look like they could be rotated. The photo was of the Marquez family. <gasps> Statues. There's a statue out on the fountain, outside. And there's also one lying down somewhere. So if we put them there. But we can't go outside yet. If I looked hard enough, I'd find the answers I needed. Oh no, it crashed again. My maledict seal back in its rightful place but if I looked hard enough I'd find the answers I needed the Tower of Saints had led us to the castell I wondered where the other clues would take us the bearded figure was similar to the one on the fireplace in the hall I wondered if there was a connection yeah there is the orb in the old man's hand glowed with a green green for it said green and blue I've forgotten. The figure of the young man was just like the one on the front of the fireplace. It couldn't be a coincidence. The youthful figure held a glowing blue orb in his Blue was for science, wasn't it? Or something like that. I didn't write it down. I should have written it down. Inside the ring was a castle gate. I had no idea what it signified. Within the ring, there were a number of houses. It was a village or a small town. Inside the ring was what looked like an affluent town. There was a tower within the ring. Maybe it indicated a place? The priest appeared to have a padlock to his mouth. He so was he does. down to the ring below him. It was a tower of tormented souls. They looked like the damned. It was the figure of a priest, but with a dog's head. The figure was pointing up at a ring above him. It was a castle of saints, Castel de Saints, in Catalonia. That wouldn't have worked. A scarred face stared back at me from within the Ouroboros. Hobbes must have uncovered the image when he was restoring the painting. But what did it mean? And what was its link to the Tabula Veritatis? Hmm. A large Ouroboros dominated the center of the painting. Before he was killed, Simeon had said that the tree inside the Ouroboros represented hidden Gnostic knowledge. And here it was. A whole new image inside the snake. Hobbes had uncovered it. But now, he was dead. That wouldn't work. The plinths looked like they could be rotated. Right, we need to get those statues from outside. The bookcase held an assortment of ancient books. There was a crate of brandy amongst all the mess. Oh, boozing too much. It was a shield on which heraldic symbols had been painted. The scroll under the shield read El Pont de Suez. The scroll below the shield read Trent. The scroll beneath the shield read Figueres. The scroll under the shield read Olot. We're going to need these, aren't the scroll we? scroll below the shield read Berga. The scroll beneath the shield read Bascara. The scroll under the shield read Rosas. The scroll beneath the shield read Puchaza. How can you read that from over there, George? <laughs> the scroll below the shield read Girona. Hey, Girona. Right, um, I'm probably going to go out there, but we're going to talk to Ramon. 
few words, senor? Good. Bye. <laughs> you wanted a few words. I just gave you two. Ramon sure was a little light in the charm department. Can I? La Maledizio, back in its rightful place. But what were the clues? Yes, uh, uh, George's. <laughs> I would put that there. That was never going to happen. Can we zoom back in on the picture? The painting held all the answers. Don't crash. Thank you. That wasn't worth trying. Why wasn't it worth trying? Everything's worth trying. <laughs> right. We've got this window up here. It was a circular stained glass window. They always hold secrets. But we're going to go out and find these statues. See, look, there's so, two. Until you came here, you knew nothing about the castle? Didn't know, wasn't interested. I better get back on guard in case anyone else shows up. Your father needs our help, Eva. My father needs rest, peace, and quiet. Not more of this Gnostic nonsense. So, what did you find out? Not a lot. Eva thinks her father's losing it. She doesn't have much time for Gnosticism. She's never been here before. In fact, Marquez never even talked about the place. As far as I can tell, she and her father never got on. She left home the moment she could. Hmm. I don't blame her. So why is she here now? Marquez begged her. Said he was in danger. I guess maybe I'll go inside and have a look around too. Tell me if you find anything. I'm not having much luck so far. We've got a blue statue. There was a piece of stone on the ground. It looked like a discarded statue. And then with this to be the green statue. Oh no, it's blue as well. But that's only half of one. This one's broken. The blue statue was missing its head. Only his robes and sandaled feet remained. It resembled the statues in Marquez's family photo. The blue-colored statue was robed with a bald head and bare feet. Like the other one, this looked a lot like the statues in Marquez's family photograph. Maybe I can still use them. I suppose we could talk to We've got a sundial. It was an old, weathered sundial. From the dial, I could see that the main doors of the house faced north. Mm. The fountain had stopped working long ago. Can't make George run. Hello, Eva. Senior Stobart. Fancy meeting you here. I'd rather not. When are you and your girlfriend leaving? Actually, she's not my girlfriend. I don't know what your scam is, senor. You may have fooled my father, but you don't fool me. Well, I can sure see where you get your manners from. Hey, let's ask about a few things. Do you know anything about this statue? I've seen a few of them lying around. I guess the fascists smashed them up in the war. Any more thoughts on the statues? They're just old stones. Do you recognize this? It's my father's medallion. He said he lost it. Yeah, he left it in Paris. Do you know anything about it? When I was a kid, he never let it out of his sight. This is your family, right? Looks like it. 
She doesn't have much to say, does she? What do you know about La Maledicio? My father has been obsessed by it all his life. He thinks it's full of secret messages. I think it's a crock of sh Sure you do. Tell me about yourself. I left home as soon as I could, lived a bit, and now I own a bar in Marseille. That explains why you know how to use a gun. No, senor. I learned how to use a gun so I could get rid of Vernon. Eva was a real charmer. Tell me about Ramon. Apparently he worked here when he was a boy. A loyal servant, even though the family left and never came back. <laughs> More fool him. Tell me about your father. When my mother died, he brought me up. As a Gnostic? <laughs> he tried to teach me that stuff. Said I had a religious vocation. Turns out I didn't. On my 18th birthday, I left home and never went back. So why are you here now? Nico tells me you don't really know about Gnosticism. Don't know, don't care. And I don't need saints and gods telling me how to live my life. I can see why you and your father don't get along. So, you don't know anything about Gnostics? They're a religious sect. They belong in the past. My father's obsessed with them, and that's all I know. Anything else about the painting you can tell me? My father says it has a special connection with this house. From where I stand, this house is a place of murder and violence, which is why I want nothing to do with it. Okay. Let's go back and... And put these statues up here. My maledict seal, back in its rightful place. But what were the clues? They're both holding books. They both look the same. Let's just try them the other way around. Oops, I missed. Hmm, maybe we need to find a green one somewhere. Can I not go through this door? Oh, I can. There's a statue. Broken green one. Yeah, we need a green one. What is that? It's an old statue. I think it might help decode the painting. I'll take a look. Maybe I can help. This door's locked anyway. I'd put some statues above the fireplace, but it was hard to tell if they were the same ones as in Marquez's family oh, photograph. Oh, I forgot about that. Can I look at this? <laughs> hmm. 
I think I need to take that one away. Baron! Oh, what is it facing? They're facing out the way, sorry. Like that. The statues were facing outward, just like in the Marquez photo. I waited with bated breath for something to happen. Nothing. I need another way round then. Um, let's take that one back, take that one back. Right, he's facing the right way. Uh, he was facing the right way. He's not saying anything there, is he? the way I had it? Or did I have it the other way around? That wouldn't work. That wouldn't make any sense. Is that right? I wondered if the notes could help decrypt La Maledic Seal. Cloud and Green looks the other way towards the setting sun where stands the Tree of Life. And you shall know that the light of knowledge is blue and that the light of life is green. So it's that way round. So it is blue on blue on this side. Green on the other side. The painting held all the answers. Yeah, it's not helping me just now. I needed a better idea. The church clearly had a long history of demonizing the Gnostics. The illustration showed a group of colored figures engaged in some sort of ritual. The blue and green figures appeared to be in control. The crowd in the foreground were colored red. I guessed it was a representation of the ritual in the text. The large figures look just like the carvings on the Castell fireplace. This is why I think we need to have red light coming in here. That wouldn't make any sense. Senor Marquez? Do you think the Tabula Veritatis was hidden here? 
Perhaps, who knows? Take a look at this. Did you break this? No, absolutely not. Good. Anything else about the photograph you can tell me? You see, there used to be statues on the mantelpiece. They must have been looted. Anything else about the painting I should know? I keep telling you, I don't know. Nico and I are risking our lives for you. You really can't tell us any more? Truly, I do not know. He wouldn't want to see it. You should get back. Can we, um... Nope. I needed to try something else. On the fireplace behind them were two identical statues. Two identical, so it's just the colouring one. And I think we have them the right way round. Going by the illustration. One looks towards the setting sun. Green looks towards the setting sun. Cloud and green look the other way towards the setting sun where stands the tree of life. Look towards the rising sun, towards the tree of knowledge. So blue looks towards the tree of knowledge. Oh, it's Baron. Who's Baron in the window? Oh, Baron's in the window. Uh, right, blue is for the Tree of Knowledge. Whereas green is Tree of Life. The statues on the plinth were the same as the ones in the Marquez family photograph, and their colors matched the characters in Simeon's manuscript. I was definitely onto something. This is the tree of life, isn't it? That's the tree of knowledge. So, blue should be... Should we not have this face in... Somewhere like that. It's hard to tell which. That's in face in front. That's in face in that way. The painting held all the answers. The figure of the young man was just like the one on the front of the fireplace. The youthful figure held a glowing blue orb in his hand. The bearded figure was similar to the one on the fireplace in the hall. The orb in the old man's hand glowed with a green light.
flints looked like they could be rotated. The flints seemed to be locked in place. Ah, what is this? Is it? A staircase. I never knew. We must go up. We don't have much time. Aha. Stairs. Always stairs. Oh my god, look at this. Oh, it's closed again. Hmm. What's this? A piece of burnt paper with the word Wolfram. That sounds familiar. Wolfram. I curse that name forever. What do you know about Wolfram, senor? Wolfram. I spit on the name. Why? What is Wolfram? It was a mining company run by a murdering swine called Ganon. In the Civil War, they backed the fascists. In return, Ganon was given soldiers to do his dirty work. They came here, brought their bloody war to this house, and killed Senor Xavier. They shot Xavier, Senor Marquez's father? I was just a boy, but I remember like it was yesterday. Shot him and his friend, Hernandez, like animals. Why did they come here? They were searching for something, but they brought death with them. But there is one thing I have never understood. Xavier tried to escape through the library but the library windows oh there must be a secret barred. passageway there it is a dead end so you have lived here for a long time all my life my father served here before me in fact he named me after senor xavier's favorite saint saint ramon patron saint of the falsely accused. That's nice. Not really. The Moors put a pack oh, he's on that picture. In mouth. Oh, I see. Uh, well, I guess there's a lesson there for all of us. Uh, what about th this Kenan, who was he? He was Swiss, a businessman, and a murdering swine. So what did he want here? I don't know. When he wasn't torturing the locals, he disappeared to the library. Spent weeks in there, making notes and studying maps. His men, they crossed the whole of Catalonia searching for something. Did they find it? Who knows? One day, Ganon just disappeared. He never came back. An accident, perhaps. In the mountains, may his soul rot in hell. The soldiers didn't stay long to search for him. They hated him too. Uh, we can ask more. The name Genan was familiar. He was the person who had tried to buy La Maladexio. A coincidence? Perhaps. There is no such thing as coincidence. So, when the soldiers left, you took back the house? Yes. A few years later, I returned and cleaned the place up. It broke my heart. I locked the library. I could not bear to touch Gaiman's papers. Well, we need in there. Can I have a look at the library? No. I have kept it locked to honor the memory of Senor Xavier. Please. This is important. I lost the key. You lost it? That evening when I locked it up, I drank to the memory of Senor Xavier. The okay. cellars were well stocked, Senora. It was a long night. I hid the key. Then forgot where I hid it. So it is lost. 
That was all that was left in the morning. I haven't touched a drop since. I needed to find out what Ganon had been working on in that library. Uh, let's have a look over the Thrawn decrets. There was a crate of brandy amongst the mess in the Great Hall. Apparently, Ramon drank them all. Must have been some night. The bookcase held old Catalan books. I wouldn't be able to read them. There was another statue. The hall had collections of old items everywhere. Ramon claimed he had tidied the place up. It was an old statue like the one Georges placed on the map. We could have probably taken that one. It would have been easier. Let's go find this key. The internal courtyard had been beautiful once. Even overgrown like this, it had a serenity. The castle was vast, but most of it was now inaccessible. The plants at least were thriving in the rubble. An intricate mosaic adorned the floor. Hmm. The door was locked. I had to find the key. I wondered where Ramon could have hidden it. Okay, it doesn't look as though it's here. No, that would never have worked. That wouldn't make sense. Guess we're going back through. The fireplace was adorned with carved trees. Mm, let's go outside have a look. Maybe she knows where the key is. Or else it's on the sundial or somewhere silly. In the fountain? The fountain had dried up long ago. The barn. According to the sundial, it was mid afternoonish. Eva, I am glad your father is safe. He's old and foolish. He shouldn't be here, but he wouldn't listen to me. I suppose he's still going on about that painting. Well, yes. In fact, we decoded it. You did? Yes. We found a secret passage behind the fireplace. What? <laughs> your father and Georges went in. What? That's ridiculous. He's an old man. Don't worry. Georges knows what he's doing. So he always tells me anyway. He posted something up. I shall have a quick look. Ah. That's very cute. It looks probably more like Luna. I like that. That's very cute. They're very nice, eh? Yeah, below the store.
I love the face on them. That's cute. I love the paws as well. <laughs> well, I think I think they would be great. Yeah. No, they're wonderful. Thank you for that below stone. I like them. Bar she's um, got a much smaller, cuter face, Luna, um, compared to Baron. So it's, it's probably more like, more like Luna. Baron's always a bit more serious looking. It's, um, there's a couple of fairly s recent photos I've posted up on the pet's corner bit um, of Baron. In fact, I've got another one that's, let me f find this one um, that I had recently of him. It's a really good photo. Where are we? Oh, this one. Let me post this one up. That's Baron looking very, very serious. I say you should do emotes for Celebrant 500, but to the inevitable and was in the mood to do them. Yeah. Well, we can keep we can keep that for the 500. Where are we? He does have a more serious. It's more like a barn, isn't he? <laughs> Certainly, are proud looking over his kingdom. <laughs> Have you ever been inside the library? No, I'm told it is locked. The key is lost. Ramon says he hid it years ago and cannot remember where. Shame. Can you think of anywhere Ramon might have hidden the key? What do you think I am, psychic? Talk she, to you later. she doesn't know where this key is. I've got I've, I've got the sun shining off the, my neighbor's car across the street. So there's nothing else here. We've got this goat again. <laughs> Oh, we can look at the car door. Is the goat going to let us? Why is the goat not attacking Nico? This is just not like males. Oops. Oh, look at these old shoes. An old pair of shoes. Tin can keys. The car was littered with keys from sardine cans. Another brandy bottle? Ramon really went for it that evening. We got a pillow, we've got a dashboard. The dashboard seemed intact, but this old family car would never drive again. The inside of the car was in a bad state. Oh, what's this? I picked up what looked like an old diary. It was Ramon's. <gasps> oh, but maybe there's a clue in there. Ever be a shrine. No one will enter. I shall hide the key in a safe place. Once I return, I have just what I need and know what to do. Oh, beautiful lady, your eyes are so blue. I just can't stop thinking of you. Hmm, Ramon was quite the budding poet. Our lives are entwined like ivy on a tree. That is what you mean to me. Nice. 
<laughs> the goat stole the book. Right, so someone had been sleeping in the car, but long, long ago. Hmm, see, is this a clue? Tin can keys. Because how do I get out of here? There was all those tin I have no respect for great art. Pretty indigestible, huh? There's all these tin cans hanging over here. The windchime looked like it was made from old cans. I wondered if it was Ramon's handiwork. Well, probably, because he's like, he, there's a lot of tin key pool things. Why are you coming around this way? One old sardine can was bulging slightly. I fished around. There was something in it. <gasps> it's a key. We found the key. The library. I need a key. And I found a key. I have to record something about I found a key. <laughs> Since we've got the I need a key. Ramon had been true to his word. This place was like a shrine. There's not many books. That's not a library to me. You should have books all the way around. Books were still stacked neatly in the bookcase. More were scattered on the floor. The trunk contained someone's personal possessions. At a guess, Genans. I wondered what secrets they might hold. Oh, did we just have an advert? I should have went and got more coffee at that point. And um, we've got a map. The map had interesting markings and scribbles all over it. George would be so jealous. Meanwhile. So what is this place, senor? It is my family's chapel. It's not like any chapel I ever saw. Where's the altar, the crucifix, the Christian symbols? And this fresco, what's that? How extraordinary. It tells a story. It depicts the journey of my ancestors, the Cathars, and their escape from the hilltop fortress of Montsegur with the tabula veritatis. From under the very noses of the soldiers of the Albigensian crusade. Whoa, wait, wait a minute. Who are the Cathars? And, and what have they got to do with the tabula? The Cathars were Gnostics. They lived in the south of France in the 12th century, at peace with the Jews and the Catholics of the Languedoc. They preach that men and women are equal, that God is within you, and that the church is an obstacle to salvation. The Pope found their core beliefs abhorrent. The Cathars accused him and his church of corruption. He condemned them as heretics. When the Pope learned that they were the guardians of the Tabula Veritatis, he conspired with the King of France and called for a holy war to wipe them out. The Albigensian Crusade was a callous, ruthless massacre. The final confrontation took place here at Montségur in 1244. 
The Crusaders believed that they had slaughtered all the heretics. But a handful managed to escape with the tabula. They traveled south across the Pyrenees along secret trails. They brought the tabula here to Catalonia to be hidden once more. I wonder if that's a real crusade that happened. Sadly, it was not the end of their trials. The Spanish Inquisition saw to that. Nevertheless, for generations, my ancestors continued to guard the secrets of the tabula. So, you understand why La Maledizio is important to me. It will lead us to the tabula again, so we can keep it safe from those who wish to abuse its power. The painting brought us up here, Senor. We need to find out why. We've got colored lights here. It was a candelabrum holding a single candle. We need to light that. I don't think we've got anything. Apart from the sun. That was never going to happen. That wasn't going to have any effect on the candelabrum. Can I put this on there just out of interest? Yeah. Nothing happened. But it um, might still happen. The fresco deserved a proper examination. The fresco was surrounded by dusty inscriptions. My Latin was a little rusty, but I could still translate. Ex igne puritas, from fire, purity. Ex luce veritas, from light, truth. Ex labore sapientia, from struggle, knowledge. Hmm. The mountain fortress of Montsegur burning after its capture by the crusaders. Okay, so we've got towns, we've got the Crusaders. Knights of the Albigensian Crusade. Cathars being burned at the stake. A town of northern Catalonia. Cathars fleeing across the Pyrenees to escape the slaughter of the Albigensian Crusade. They seem to be carrying something. I did it spell that? Cathars fleeing across the Pyrenees to escape the slaughter of the Albigensian Crusade. They seem to be. Ca 